This is Ventilation Maximum's VMAX AT2. It's a great solution when soffits don't allow air into the attic. We install it as low as possible to allow that air to come through the upper side of the roof but at the lowest point on the deck. They work in conjunction with 301s quite nicely. What I like about the AT2 is it has a media filter. This stops any pollen debris or inclement weather from getting into the roof system. Any moisture within the vent collects in the drip tray and is channeled on top of the shingles. The louvers in the front are angled down so any wind-driven rain hits them and is deflected outside of the vent. The heavy gauge steel is powder coated, making it strong for installation. It also helps prevent it from fading over the years. Make a template of the underside of the vent. Place a template on the roof, ensuring that you're between two studs. With the template in place, trace the inside of the opening. With your roof marked, remove the template, cut your shingles, and then cut the wood. With your shingles and wood cut, remove any of the remaining nails around the hole. Once that's done, continue your cut for two more rows of shingles. This will allow you to slide the vent up, covering the flange. With your plywood removed, slide your vent up underneath the shingles and make sure that the opening of the vent is in line with the opening of the roof. Using a generous amount of roofing cement, cover the flashing on the underside of the vent. With your roofing cement applied, you're now ready to slide the vent into place. With the vent in place, now fasten it to the roof using screws or nails. The final step in installing your VMAX AT2 is to hand seal with roofing cement every joint and tab around the perimeter of the vent. 